this is all of the new cabling, all of the new data cable and audio cable that's been put in to support um, all the new camera emplacements and microphone emplacements. We have about 24 different ports available, um, as well as upgraded 2.5 gigabit ethernet so that we can stream from four cameras simultaneously. Hello, my name is Cade Murray, and today I'm gonna to walk you through some of the tech upgrades that we're doing here at First Parish in Cambridge. Uh, over the last two years, like many places, we've gone to live streaming our services and having a lot of video content and audio. Um, and right now we are just using this small portable uh, roadie setup that we got two years ago when we suddenly discovered that we had to broadcast everything we did. Um, but we've overgrown that or outgrown that just in the last couple of years. And as we're moving back into in-person worship in our full meeting house, we've decided to make some significant upgrades so that we can make the online experience much better. So one of the main upgrades that we're gonna do is to the video. Um, up till now, we've had a pair of DSLR cameras that we use so we get a static shot of the minister and then one on the piano or the choir or whatever action is happening. But now that we're back in the meeting house, we're gonna have a whole series of pan tilt zoom cameras in the corners, one in each corner and two in the back. So four cameras that'll give us the ability to follow action from multiple directions, to cut between different people, have two people facing each other on the screen at the same time and give us a whole lot more options in terms of how we're able to show the service and what's going on. It also allowed the meeting house as a whole to be more useful for outside people in the community as well. So when the Harvard Bookstore comes and does a presentation here, they also will have access to all of the good upgraded uh, video equipment. Um, in order to get good sound, we've put in a series of hanging microphones, um, small, very hard to see um, condenser mics that are made for micing choirs and music. And they're now hanging from a new wire that stretches across the entire meeting house. We'll have six mics there, uh, four facing forward and two back so that we can also mic the congregation when they're singing or congregational responses, which is something we haven't been able to do up till now. So it'll feel, if you're on Zoom or you're on YouTube, a lot more like you're actually there and you get to experience what's going on in the building. So we're actually installing two different kinds of camera. First, the camera that we just saw is a 4K digital camera uh, that allow us to um, live stream in 4K and capture really high quality digital video and images if we want. And then we also have a pair of tracking cameras which run at HD rather than 4K, but they're able to actually actively follow motion throughout the room. So if you have someone in the front, someone that's giving a lecture, walking around, or activity, a pageant going on, the cameras will actually track continuously and follow all of the action. So we have one tracking camera and one 4K camera in the front, and one tracking camera and one 4K camera in the back. That gives us a whole lot of flexibility and the ability to capture action and high quality stills at the same time. One of the major challenges in doing all of this upgrading and changing out the tech is that our old legacy sound system, which we've had for over a decade, is actually not up to date enough to be able to communicate with computers, to connect wirelessly, or to do any of the stuff that people expect of a high quality sound and video system today. And so a lot of the effort is going into having the new cameras, the new microphones, the new audio, computer, live stream, be able to interface with our old legacy system seamlessly and still work with our set of speakers that we have and with the uh, microphones that we already have in place at the pulpit and by the piano. And so there's a lot of um, coordination and uh, ad adaptation that needs to be done in order to make the old system work seamlessly with the new system. So that's where a lot of the effort is going. So back here we have, this is the back of our old mixing board with all of the connections to the speakers and everything coming out of the top. That all goes down to a whole mess of wireless transmitters for all of the wireless uh, microphones that are arrayed throughout, uh, both wireless clip-ons and handhelds. That goes down to an antenna dispersion array, and then that goes down to all of the amplifier and the PA system. And all of this old stuff has to be integrated with a new computer, the new cameras, the new digital audio, the new digital video, as well as the ability to record and edit everything live as we go. This is all of the new cabling, all of the new data cable and audio cable that's been put in to support um, all the new camera emplacements and microphone emplacements. We have about 24 different ports available, um, as well as upgraded 2.5 gigabit ethernet so that we can stream from four cameras simultaneously without um, causing our, our internet to, to choke and die in the middle of it. So um, this is, um, it was enabled because we had 
to tear down all of the ceilings in the balcony and we we're able to put up brand new wiring throughout with ports placed above in the balcony and down in the ceilings all the way around. So now the meeting house is basically future-proofed for at least the next 10 or 15 years. So that's where we are right now. As you can see, there's still a lot of work to be done, but hopefully the next time um, I'll be able to show you what the full studio looks like. We'll have the monitors set up, we'll have the joystick controllers for the cameras, we'll have the soundboard down and accessible, we'll have all of the, um, the video switching equipment set up as well, and it, it'll be really cool. It's almost like a full TV studio that we'll have in the back corner here. I can't wait to show you. It'll be great fun. Thanks a lot.